a lot of the England squad have been there since like when they were under 16s and I know that because I used to work with someone who, who was their coach at England under 16 and there's an old school element to it which doesn't necessarily work now uh, other teams like New Zealand South Africa even Argentina they they have way better depth in their in their squads that that, that, that exists now uh, and so I wonder no I, I I can't see England getting as much as I would love them to I, I can't see them getting beyond quarterfinals of time because other nations out there have got better um, depth in their squads and they they really are are pushing the boundaries whereas England are churning out this, the same boring stuff really well a lot of people well I, I would disagree that in 2000 in 2003 I think Clive Woodward was the manager or the coach then but at the end of the day I could have coached that side they, they were the they were the best side in the world and and they and they got the World Cup win and they deserved that but I think it, since then, no, I, you know, New Zealand have, have been fantastic, South Africa have been fantastic. There's no way anyone could ever imagine England winning this World Cup. My, my bet is on France, and that's why, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're like this. Underneath this, because I am caught French, I do actually have. Oh my God. <laughs> there it is. Because that is where, that is actually where my heart lies. Because I'm quite French, so I'm then wearing this. But actually, there we go. As an English person, okay, as a massive English person, all right, massive English supporter, we enjoy rugby. Rugby is the winner. Whether, it doesn't matter how far we go, okay, as long as we play well and we achieve good rugby, that's what matters because we have such good players. And eventually... I've got somebody behind me taking the piss. Okay, eventually, we will always get somewhere. It doesn't matter. It's, for me, it's about the game of sport. It's about the camaraderie. If we win, we win. If we lose but play badly, that annoys me. But if we, if we lose but play good, that's epic. So it's about a good game. It's, good. it's about a good game of, of rugby. Attacking rugby, apart from Marcus Smith, he is the sexiest and the best player we're, in world rugby. We're, we're, we're going to win the World Cup, boys. Do you think so? We played a strong team against against a weak nation, and that's respect. We were respectful. We played a re, we played a strong team against a weak nation, and that's respect. And now back to the studio. Oh, no! <laughs> I think it was, it was nice that we finally got to play some good rugby. Arundel is fantastic on the wing. It's nice that you finally got a chance. What can you actually do? Five tries. Can... I mean, they're a lesser opposition, but I think it gives us a good chance to sort of build some strategies, play some plays that we want to put on from the training ground, implement it in a match situation, which is very important. Build the momentum into the tournament, and then hopefully we get into the later rounds and carry on. Of course, it, it, it's nice to win this match by a good margin, but like... <laughs> But we have to be realistic, like, we, we need to do it against the better opposition. Ooh, that's a bit harsh. A bit harsh and chilly, but, yeah, there's not much opposition, but we had, it was like trying our attack out for the, in the future because we haven't tried our attack out against Japan or against the first team we played. What was the first team? Uh, Argentina. Shout, shout out to the Chile fans. I thought they were fantastic tonight. <laughs> we, we met a lot of Chile fans tonight who were fantastic in terms of their support they really got behind their team and it's really good for the world cup you know we've got england fans and chile fans mixing to give a really good atmosphere tonight and fantastic ground at lille really really happy um and come on england that's what i'm, that's what I'm gonna say sweet chariots coming for to carry me
Yeah. <laughs>